Hi everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here with my finished United We Stand mini album. This is a mini album that I created for my sister. My sister's in the military and her birthday is uh, July 27th and this is a present for her. So hi sissy, if you're watching, this is yours. And um, this was also a kit that I offered and a Ustream class. And we have this Ustream class this past weekend, and there was a couple of elements that I wanted to add, so I went ahead and I did that. So here on the spine, guys, here is the, I forgot to use the trinkets from the Bow Bunny collection that you got in your kit. So I did a couple things with the trinkets, and I wanted to share with you all what I've done. I suspended one of the trinkets right here from the side with the amazing uh, charms that you all got in your kit. Love the dog tags. How fun are those? and the beads and I showed you all how we uh, suspended this from the spine and for the cover here is uh, your belt closure that we did during the class and then I added my title USA and I used the Tim Holtz label uh, die for this and I covered it with aluminum foil and ran it through my cuddle bug and I loved it I used the stars uh, cuddle bug die and that's this one right here and I don't know if you can see it but it's this one and it's called stars and I really really love it super super fun um, embossing folder and thank you Betty for this aluminum foil technique she told me to do this and I absolutely love it Betty from Betty B designs so love that I must say that my album is super chunky guys I should have did this belt closure at the end when I was done putting all of my stuff in there so for those of you who haven't finished your project, do this at the very end when you're done stuffing your album because it is pretty chunky. And as I said, I was going to cover my eagle in glossy accents and I did that. Hopefully you're getting that dimension there. And I also did it with the stars right here. Love the cover. Very simple, but I think it packs a punch and I think it tells a story already without even getting into the album. So let me take you inside, my friends. Again, super tight on this one, but love it. Here I did a duct tape closure, and I used two belts. I did a white and a red belt, and you don't have to use duct tape if you don't have it. I'm sure lots of you have a gazillion miles and miles of ribbon, so you can do this as well with your ribbon. You don't have to do the duct tape, guys, but I love that industrial feel that you get with the duct tape. So I've invested in quite a few rolls, and for those of you who got the kit, that was also in your kit my friends so there's another good look at the cover piece right there lots of dimension on that guys there's the spine and there's the back by the way this collection is the Liberty line by Bo Bunny love 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 it so lots of things going on in this album my friends so it opens up like so okay and again very chunky so in here is another uh, charm that you received in your kit for those of you who who were able to take advantage of that. So that's what I did with the two charms. And those are suspended together uh, from the same chain on the inside and on the outside. And to stop it from slipping and sliding, I put a little stopper there with another one of the trinkets. So there's one trinket, two trinkets, and three trinkets in that one right there, okay? And then when you open it, here is what I call a Julie flap. Long story, but this is made out of chipboard and it's attached to the in, to the inside of the front cover. And when you pull, I put a pocket on there and I also use a sticker right there. So if you'd like, you could even stick a little message right on the right right there if you wanted to. All right. So I and I use the brads from the collection right there. And here is one of the tags from the paper collection that I cut out and I just made a quick photo mat of. Uh, a fan out right here with the brad that came in the paper collection and that will allow her to put lots of photographs just right here in the inside back cover I haven't even opened this album yet then this opens up like so hopefully I'm getting the full span on that and this was one of the add-ons for those of you who are interested there will be a gypsy file available on my blog for these cutouts this super cute suitcase that I'm going to show you right now and right here I just created a belly band and I created another accordion fold or a accordion fold 
all right for more opportunities for photographs there are lots of opportunities here guys for photographs and journaling so she's going to be able to load this up with all of the photographs from her career and she has years in the military my friend she went in when she was 18 years old and she is 35 now so uh, she has done a lot she has traveled the world and I wanted to pay oh to that right here with this little suitcase my friends all of these images that you see here were cut with the United We Stand not, nope 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 not United We Stand stand and salute cartridge from Cricut okay so the gypsy file will be available on my blog for a download and that is absolutely free I don't charge for that guy so take advantage of it check out this adorable little suitcase how fun is that I I suspended another trinket from some ball chain this ball chain is the only thing you didn't get in your kit guys but I needed a chain so this is easy to find my friends so you can pick that up pick that up on your own okay and it fans out like this okay that's there's the back of it fully finished again that fantastic embossing folder that I use there for for the front and you have an opportunity for one two three four five tags in there and these are nice size tags these are four three and a quarter by four and a quarter in size so she can get a really nice photographs in there and she can uh, put a photograph of each of uh, the places that she's traveled to and I know I don't have nearly enough but in each pocket you can fit two tags okay but this was stuffed to the brim that I didn't want to continue stuffing it and here on the back side I just cut off one of the um, the images from the borders that were also included in the kit and I just glued it onto the back to finish that off nicely in the back so love 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 the suitcase really nice size on here let's get a quick measurement it is if I can hold my ruler straight let's see it's five inches by all the way to the handles four and a half okay guys so if you don't have a gypsy you can cut this out at five by four and a half and you should get this nice size on here from the stand and salute cartridge and then over here we have a fantastic diagonal pocket with a large photo mat with I use one of the stickers here and the brads and on the back side is just matted and I use the trim this is a Webster's Pages trim that came that also came in your kit and I use that right there my friends and we covered all of this in the class there's also a tutorial for this album if you're interested this is at, this design is actually based on the graduation album that I did a little while ago alright so that closes up like that again we gotta just stuff it down because it is tight I also want to let you all know that I finish my pages with eyelids okay I think it's important if you're gonna stuff it like mine because you don't want these pages to tear so I went ahead and finished those off as well and this is again based on that design and you have that fantastic little uh, uh, interaction here with this page again thank you so much the Nor girl for the inspiration on that piece she made a fantastic card based on this design uh, based on this functionality here and I went ahead and did it up for a mini album and then on the back side you get a simple pocket alright that's also part of this card assembly and a beautiful size mat for a fantastic photograph and journaling on the back and I also went ahead and finished the back of that tag with one of the stickers that came in the collection over here use another one of the chipboard stickers and I did a quick little fan out here for some journaling and photographs whatever she'd like I did that there tucks right behind there and here's an undercut pocket with more uh, photo mats for lots and lots of opportunities for photographs and I'm just on page two and I think we're down we're like at 20 photographs probably give or take a few then over here on the back side just a quick little tag right there or photo mat this opens up like so for more of course photographs turn that page beautiful space for a picture and over here some tags that came in the collection and again another one of those uh, uh, swivel photo mats if you will okay another sticker from the collection and this throughout the album I use this punch this is a Martha Stewart punch and it's called stars all of the tags that you see here are part of the bow bunny collection 
the liberty the liberty liberty line okay that opens up like so here two pockets for photo mats and this photo mat fits perfectly in there as well see that so you get nice size uh, photographs in here full size photographs you don't have to crop your pictures so much okay this opens up like so again the paper line is absolutely gorgeous and I love matting my pages but I also love creating these little pockets if you will to insert mats so I don't have to cover up my paper okay so look at that beautiful mat right there beautiful photograph you pull it out and you still get to enjoy the beauty of the paper and that's imperative when we're getting all of these fantastic papers like from graphic 45 for instance with the gorgeous imagery on that on the paper line you don't want to cover that up so this is a perfect way to uh, handle paper such as that alright and over here another pockets and here we go for a large size photo mat and that goes in there as well and you get the same thing on this other side so and pretty much that's it um, you get another oh never mind you get another tra traditional style pocket here and then you get super cute undercut um, envelope over here that is done up with some twine and it's really long we may, may want to cut that down and you get a nice opportunity for a journaling spot in there okay so I'm not even going to let's see how fast I can do this here we go and I finished it off with a stick with uh, a piece of that border that came in the kit and that was can company and one of the sticker tabs right there and I need to get more eyelids because I gotta finish up those pockets you definitely want to do that don't forget about that guys because it's gonna take a lot of stress another one of those fantastic interactive pieces backside photo mats and over here I did it up another Cricut cut I did a large a play on a dog tag and it's oversized clearly for lots of pictures and journaling here is that border piece right there and one last trinket piece and I think I well I use almost use them all I have one left and I'm sure I'll stick it in here somewhere so that also comes it's a part of the gypsy file and in the gypsy file you will also see some firework tags which are interactive I haven't cut those out yet because I don't think they're gonna fit and I don't want to continue stuffing but for those of you who want them they, they will be available there and they're super cute fireworks and I went ahead and I welded them to create a nice tag for you and that go there's a nice pocket there for some tags same size tag throughout the album my friends okay and this tag measures four and three quarters by six alright four and three quarters by six on your tags and they fit in every single pocket in this mini album okay and I think I gotta stuff that in there see how tight this puppy is already and again another pocket on the back side and over here we continue on with the same flap style pocket with that fold out and another flap over here and another sentiment freedom with that uh, accordion pull out and the belly band okay and then you get another fantastic uh, diagonal pocket there for a portrait size photograph on the back side so talk about taking advantage of all of the real estate in this album I mean I think I've covered every square inch of this album I'm sure if I wanted to I can stuff some more in there because you know we can't help ourselves and this closes up like this right here alright so lots and lots of fun on this one I think my I love the album love 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 the album and um, again the suitcase for uh, for her travels I think is a really fun addition and the belly band is another fun addition with the uh, with the accordion fold pieces and that tucks away right in there and it fits perfectly guys okay I mean it just tucks right in there no need to stick it down the fun charms are available for viewing and playing and touching love all of that all right so there is the mini album my friends this is united we stand thank you and again the belt closure right here my friends with the hardware lots of lots of fun so if you're still in the process of making your album do this last all right because I think I may have to redo my belt 
if I decide to go ahead and put those firework tags in there, okay? So thank you so much all for checking me out. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and if you have any questions, leave me a message. I will be glad to get back to you all. I hope you all enjoyed the album and enjoyed the Ustream class. This tutorial is available, and it's called the Grad Album, if you're interested in making this. Thank you so much. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.